your browser does not support HTML5 video. As if the home opener of any season isn't packed with enough drama, the Chicago White Sox took us all on a roller coaster of a win over the Seattle Mariners, 10-8, on Friday. The game was dominated by the heroics of Joan Moncada, who went 2 for 4 with 4 RBIs, crushing two of the biggest blows of the game for Chicago. In the bottom of the first with the sacks packed and game knotted 1-2-1, Moncada crushed a 3-2, choice cut fastball from Yusei Kikuchi, a cloud that came within mere inches, and a Malik Smith glove with a grand slam. Your browser does not support HTML5 video. And in the seventh, it was another bases loaded situation, this time with the White Sox trailing 8-7. Moncada hit a solid single to center on another full count, off of another center cut fastball, your browser does not support HTML5 video. Moncada was far too often an easy out a year ago, taking himself out with a major assist from the umpires, who gave him a ludicrously wide zone of too many at-bats with tentativeness and an inability to muscle off pitcher's pitches. This year so far, he is working counts aggressively, shanking off what's not to his liking and forcing pitchers to come to him with juicy cuts. And Yoan is punishing them for it. In between Moncada's first bit of offensive heroics, doubling to put the White Sox up 3-2-1 and fueling an eventual 6-1 gap, then providing the eventual game-winning margin with a single that put Chicago up 9-8, there was a lot of ugly, as the final score might indicate. Starter Reynaldo Lopez took the gifts under the Christmas tree of a 6-1 lead and spat it all right back to Seattle. The young right-hander seemed to ease up with a big lead, pitching through even more traffic than normal. He eventually was bounced from the game in the sixth without retiring a batter, having let the Mariners storm all the way back to tie the game on a solo home run from Ryan Healy. Lopez yielded after just five innings, giving up six earned, six hits, four walks and three homers against just five kiloseconds. Jays Fry, in relief of Lopez early, retired his first two batters, but then walked Smith and served up a go for a ball to Mitch Hanniger, giving Seattle an 8-6 lead and seven unanswered runs. Thankfully, there was a third act to this game, as the White Sox pieced together one final, decisive rally in the seventh. That rally was largely a big gift from Seattle reliever Corey Guerin, as the inning began with four pitch walks to Larry Garcia and Tim Anderson. Guerin threw two more balls to Jose Abreu before Abreu broke the spell, offering at a slider at least a foot wide and low. Meanwhile, Anderson was scheming a bit to get an outrageous jump on any ground ball. I knew from the first pitch, I was reading, first baseman Jay Bruce the hole at bat, he said post-game. I knew I'd be safe. When Abreu indeed tapped a flaxit grounder to shortstop Tim Beckham, Anderson slid head first and safe into second practically as Beckham released his throw. The slow developing play, and perhaps even the shock of having Anderson up his hinny, forced a weak throw to first from second sacker Dylan Moore, which Abreu beat to first base. Sacks packed, it was Moncada time, part 2. Among many in this topsy-turvy opener, Anderson was a quiet hero. He worm burned a single to center in the second, adjusting his swing height against his body against an infield playing in for a play at the plate, driving in two runs. Your browser does not support HTML5 video. And one inning after his base running antics in the seventh, Anderson put an end to scoring in the game with a screaming liner out to left, putting the White Sox up 10-8. Your browser does not support HTML5 video. Explaining his odd, 180-degree pirouette in the batter's box, Anderson joked post-game, that's how well my feet work. I thought I was going to fall down, Anderson finished the game 3 for 4 with 4 runs scored, 3 RBIs and a walk. The game had gotten off to an odd start for the Mariners' defense, specifically Beckham, who committed 3 errors in the space of the first 3 batters of the game. Your browser does not support HTML5 video. The shortstop's fumbling largely set up Moncada's early heroics. And finally, it was a lockdown bullpen that finally extinguished Seattle's offense. 
Ryan Burr relieved Fry and escaped the dastardly third, took the seventh as well, gave Kelvin Herrera the eighth, who handed the ball to Alex Colomay for the save in the ninth. All in all, the anchormen of the pen combined for three and a third innings, two hits in three kiloseconds. And finally finally, new South Side Sox scribe Joe Rezies was up in the booth for some of today's game, which not only apparently eliminated last year's Sox math champ from the opening day competition, but brought the White Sox some good luck. The case for causation may be soft, but let's just say the White Sox's fortunes have taken the wrong turn since our Teresis was unjustly barred from winning. Still time to hustle Joe back up there, at Steve Stone. CT on WGN TV and WGN AM. Finally, finally, finally. Dot, 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 Stuff Burr earned his first career MLB win. Yolmer Sanchez did much to erase his first week of defensive boneheadery, substituting late in the game at second base. He made a killer decision to gun potential tying run Daniel Vogel back at third with one out in the eighth.